Andrea Narlis in for Steve Cochran today, and I am so thrilled to have the Golden Girls in studio. Vince Kelly is Blanche, Christopher Cam is Sophia. Golden Girls, the laughs continue now playing at Broadway in Chicago's Broadway Playhouse at Water Tower Place just through June 9th. So get out there and see the Golden Girls. You guys are back. How fun is this to be back in Chicago? Oh, so fun. I, we love it. Yeah, so we love fun. it here. Your show well, was so good. It, it came back. The reviews are insane. Everybody loves you. Are you feeling that on stage when you're portraying these iconic characters? Oh, absolutely. 100%. Yeah. yeah. It starts the second the, the theme song starts. You The audience, well, actually before that, really, you yeah. hear the audience getting into it before we even start and it just it absolutely jazzes you up for the whole show <laughs> it's what, really fun what can people expect when they come and see the golden girls obviously lots of laughs are we going to see you know reminiscent of the of the tv characters that we grew up with yeah absolutely i mean the show is uh baked with all the flavors of the golden girls that you come to know and love the catchphrases the you know the formula and everything and we just kind of take that and crank it up to 11 <laughs> right all right now so for those listening or for the first time hearing this they're like wait how is Vince playing Blanche and Christopher playing Sophia? Yeah. Obviously, you look much different than you do right now in your, you know, in your polo shirt, so. your sweater. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about this wonderful transition. Uh, yeah, we like to say that sometimes it takes a bigger foot to fill such iconic shoes, and these four women are icons in the industry, intelligent yeah. and everything. Uh, so we uh, we we sit down. It takes about two hours to become Blanche and Sophia, and. Dorothy and Rose, respectively, and it's just a lot of fun. I think that our transition, uh, we all get ready together, which is kind of unheard of, like yeah. for shows and stuff. Yeah. We all sit together, we play some music. Usually, we it's all Abba it to do right. it that way, too. yeah, because yeah. so, yeah. it kind of helps us get into that, like you know, friendly friend the, friendship. The transition sure. is really crazy. Oh, yeah, from the I start bet. of the day to. Like two hours later, you're like, oh, there's, yeah, that's Blanche. Right. Yeah, that's absolutely Blanche. <laughs> exactly, right. <laughs> and which is cool because, uh, you know, actors obviously sometimes, you know, Broadway and Chicago, our, our plays, our musicals here in Chicago are just huge. And people will get recognized either in a restaurant or walking down the street or <laughs> on a nice day if they're at Millennium Park or yeah, walking absolutely. along the lakefront. Mm -hmm. But you guys had a great story. Christopher, you were telling me that you all got recognized. You were not in costume. Not at all, After no. a show one night. Yeah, they, you know, people like to come and have a great time and we... We say, go ahead and have a cocktail. That's fine. And they had had a few. Uh, but, you know, it was about two minutes went by before they said, are you guys the Golden Girls? <laughs> so, I, but you know what? I mean, we've said, yeah, of course. We took pictures. It's it's incredible. The I best mean, part was, was that after, so they had been drinking and there was some little <laughs> dissemination of the conversation. We took some pictures and we took some more pictures. Then one of the women turned to Adam, who plays Rose, who is just one of the kindest people you could imagine. And yeah. she was like, you have angry, evil eyes. <laughs> No. And you, why do you not like me? And Adam was like <laughs> flabbergasted. He didn't know what to do. It was so funny. Oh. And that's when I was like, check, please. Uh, yeah, exactly right. It, it's time to take our it's leave. It's fun, but now yeah. it's time to come. Right? Thank yeah. you. What's a normal day for you? I mean, obviously, when you're not, you're doing press this morning with us, but when you do you sleep in, do you all hang out together? As a crew? You seem like you're good friends off stage too. I mean, honestly, like, yeah, it's... Yeah. It is that, and that's. It sounds cliche to say that, but you don't get that in every in every show. That yeah. we all really do get along, and really all do care for each other, and it comes across on stage. And I don't think you could do a show like this without that. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, and we we go out to lunch together. We went and saw Death Becomes Her. Yeah, a little great shopping. by the way, yeah. phenomenal. Awesome. Oh my god, so fantastic good. show. Yeah, I, yeah, we all go shopping together. I mean, yeah. we're my favorite thing is when we're all walking past Water Tower Place, which has some posters of us in the window, and we just kind of like put our hand down. <laughs> no, and, no, and no. Just keep walking real quick to get right. to get to the next place. You know when you're on, you know, a CTA bus now, or yeah. you're at a bus yeah. stop. It's you've very made jarring. It, right? jarring. We see it's it on like a jarring. billboard yeah. driving down the highway. We're like, oh, yeah. It's very jarring it's to see uh, your face like that. It's so much fun. Well, Chicago loves you again. I'm so glad you're back. I want to ask you how you prepared for each of your characters. Vince Blanche, obviously iconic. Rue McClanahan, Christopher Cam playing <laughs> Sophia Estelle Getty. How did you each prepare for your characters, and did you know a lot about them? Because you know you're young. Yeah. For sure. I mean, we're well, not. Well, we're we're a little. We're the older, we're the, we're the the elder show. statesmen of the show. So oh, yeah, Christopher and I had like the the, the Mima, like oh, Sophia's yeah. grandma. <laughs> uh, Christopher and I were old enough to remember the show in its original airing. We both actually watched it with our grandmothers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we kind of have that connection, and and I think also we are the two like more super fans of the show because of that reason oh, yeah. and stuff. So we're very familiar with it. I mean, as far as I I go for Blanche, it's actually very funny, and Christopher is a part of the story. Uh, I was working at another theater for years and years and years where they did a Golden Girls parody for a long time and my Blanche is actually just a, I'm copying 
Christopher's <laughs> boyfriend, whose name is Richard, who's a dear friend of mine. Yeah. And he was Blanche for years and years. So I just really copy him. So like it was very easy for me. I didn't have to do like that much character work. Um, so I, I always I, like that. It's Richard's like our always, imitating life. Kind exactly. Of Richard is always with us. I mean, like, you know, I, I went, I was at Golden Con the first year when it was here, like, which is the Golden Girls convention. I didn't even know it, that was a thing. Oh, it's incredible. That's I think they're taking insane. the year off. I'm not sure. I haven't heard. But Golden um, Con. I love any, that. Anyone oh, yeah, right on the Navy Pier. Oh, yeah. That's so cool. It was huge. Anyone who was still alive from that show, if they were alive, they were there. Oh, it yeah. was incredible. Um, you know, but I, I grew up watching the show. It's I'm kind of playing a little bit of my grandmother. I throw in a little Vicky Lawrence, Mama's Family. I grew oh, up on all those shows. So again, I, iconic. Like I catch myself doing her face instead of Estelle. <laughs> so it's you know, <laughs> so it you kind of get a little bit of all of that old school like nostalgic television. Right. And what's when, fun when is that right Betty show? White and Rue McClanahan were also on that show. So it really doesn't matter. Also, you can, uh, yeah, you can exactly. do Mama's Family all you want. <laughs> right? It's, yep. it's, yeah. you know, the it connections are there. Exactly. Absolutely. All the family. Uh, Absolutely. Just, what is it about the Golden Girls that just reaches across the generations and just will continue on and on for future generations? It's just, it was so well done in its time. I mean, yeah. it was just such great writing and then that compared like uh, Buddy to just four great actresses who had amazing chemistry and and perfect timing and just were the best at what they did. I think that that is like what starts the process of cementing it. And it's just it's so wonderfully multi generational. Like people like to share it with their they family were, and their grandmother they were ahead and stuff. Of their time too. I mean, right. a lot of the issues that they dealt with were very progressive for the times, right? Which is a little bit what we do with our show. We take it a little bit further, yeah. Um, but it still rings true. You know, they some of the issues that they dealt with on the show. It wasn't just a a frilly little comedy. They dealt with some other things too. It was, yes. I think that's part of it, but I don't know what that magic is other than those four women were just incredible together. And everybody can relate to someone, whether it's Dorothy, Blanche, Rose, Sophia. Oh. Somebody always has a character or we their favorite. We always like to say, like, oh, so you're a Dorothy with a Blanche rising. Yeah. Okay. Like, there's yeah. that, you know, there could exactly. be a, a degree of it. But yeah, yeah, when you really think about it, I mean, they kind of created that formula, that blueprint. I mean, you have, like, Sex and the City and Girlfriends mm-hmm. and these other comedies that are based on these four archetypes of women. And this was, like, the first, the first show to do that designing women even in its own time it was being comedy so. yeah yeah absolutely yeah it really set the scene for so many future comedies and comedies that we see on television yeah. mm-hmm. today like, or, you know on bridesmaids Barbie. girls trip Archetype. Like, exactly yeah. all that kind of stuff yeah they had the secret to that success mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> audiences are loving you you're back for your second i wish you guys could stay forever <laughs> uh, you're just through june 9th because but you're so funny and audiences love you i want to know what what you both in addition to the humor and the laughter what do you want audiences to take away from your performance and from the show. Start with you, Crystal. Oh, I was like, oh, just come and have a good time. I mean, part of our title is The Laughs Continue, and that's 99% of the time people come up and they say, I have not laughed that hard in years. And it's and a lot of people sometimes say, like, I really, I needed really it. needed this I today. Needed yeah. Yeah. You know, and that's, that. that's a big thing. People just need to laugh sometimes. So just come and have a good time. Thanks. That's very nice. That's very nice. I, I'll... I'll say, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll raise you. Uh-huh, I'll okay. say <laughs> that I think, I love that we are men playing these roles because I think that we have the opportunity to bring people in through the Golden Girls. People love the Golden Girls, but they might not love exactly what we do on stage. Mm-hmm. And I think that if the Golden Girls can be that spoonful of sugar to bring you in the theater and get you in front of some female impersonators and kind of let us show you what we can do. And they're like, okay, you know what? You're not as bad you as, know, I, yeah, you're not as, bad like, as okay, I thought. This is actually kind of fun. I like, I like that the Golden Girls can be like a gateway into that. Absolutely. I love yeah. that. Well, yeah. you guys are an absolute joy. It's the Golden Girls the last continue Broadway Playhouse at Water Tower Place through June 9th. Get your tickets at broadwayinchicago.com. Everything Broadway in Chicago does just is golden, literally. <laughs> They're just wonderful. Get your tickets. So I want to know if you each, as Blanche and Sophia, mm-hmm. with your voices, will lead us into the traffic and introduce our friend Nick Gale. All right, so Blanche and Sophia leading us into the traffic. Who? Oh, go, go. <laughs> like, oh, this is early. Like, this is Sophia early. Oh, Ooh. go ahead. <laughs> okay, immediately uh, he's got to take the earring off. Okay, okay, right, 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 and action. Oh, Lord Sophie, what's going on with the traffic out there in Chicago? What's that guy's name? Chris. Chris, what? Uh, Gail. Oh, Gail wins. Was, <laughs> oh, it's that, not what, the weather. Oh, doing traffic. It's the traffic, oh, Sophie. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You would never have that again, Nick. No, that's funny. That's oh, good. Oh, Nick. No, Nick. Oh, I'm Nick. so sorry, Nick. Sorry, Nick. Sorry, Nick. Sorry, Nick. Sorry, Nick. Sorry, Nick. Sorry, Nick.